The course due north, flying for hours to Russia's northernmost military installation. Moscow granted us a rare visit to its base on Franz Josef Land, a barren archipelago in the Arctic Ocean, but which Russia believes is key to dominating the Arctic. This entire airbase is covered in ice, and yet the Russians have managed to extend the runway to a point that they can land even their heaviest aircraft here, including strategic bombers capable of carrying nuclear weapons. The effort Moscow is making to upgrade its Arctic bases is massive. Inside the modern housing complex called the Trefoil, the air commander confirms to me that even Russia's dangerous Tu-95 strategic bombers, a plane similar in size to the U.S.'s B-52s, can now operate out of the airfield here. Of course they can, he says. Have a look. We can land all types of aircraft on this base. A chilling prospect for the U.S. and its allies, considering Franz Josef Land is only about 160 miles east of NATO territory. That's well within range of these powerful coastal defense rockets the Russians also showed us. They're capable of hitting ships more than 200 miles off the coast, a threat that worries the U.S. We have uh, concerns about uh, some of the increased military activities uh, in the Arctic. Uh, that increases the dangers or prospects of accidents, miscalculations. The main reason why the standoff between the U.S. and Russia is heating up in the Arctic is climate change. As polar ice melts, the region is becoming more accessible and Russia is moving fast to stake its claims. Much of that effort is led from here, the headquarters of the Northern Fleet in the closed military town of Siveromorsk, which we also got access to. Russia has been upgrading its fleet up here for years. Its flagship is the Peter the Great nuclear battle cruiser, outfitted with an array of weapons to hit targets on sea and land and fight off planes and submarines. Russia has a clear strategy up here in the Arctic and essentially revolves around three different things. On the one hand, a very strong military, then dominating the northern sea route and also tapping and exploiting natural resources. And Russia is warning the U.S. and its allies not to mess with that plan. It has been absolutely clear for everyone for a long time that this is our territory, this is our land, and we are responsible for our Arctic coast to be safe. Everything that our country does there is absolutely legitimate. Rhetoric that increasingly has the U.S. and Russia on a collision course in the high north, with Moscow so far in a stronger position. Fred Plaitkin, CNN, Sieveromorsk, Russia.